best and the most beautiful thing in this world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with heart. These are not associated with money. These are memories and moments. We human beings create these moments to make them memorable. Today, we are reunited here together to express love and to show respect for each other. So on this beautiful occasion, I welcome to all the dignitaries, teachers and my charming students, wishing everyone a warm and a relaxing Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Christmas are the announcement of joy. Parties are held. Fireworks are shot off. Gifts are exchanged and purchased. Family and friends celebrating together. Plates are full of moods. Carols are sung because Christmas and New Year is going to come. So before I move ahead, let's start this beautiful morning with a prayer song. Prayer is a link which connects us with our dear Almighty. Prayer means talking to God, listen to God. Prayer always brings us new thought, new peace and new strength with endless possibility. So here I request some students to please come on the stage for a prayer song. and we are having some of them with us. So with this note, I would like to call Manika Mahajan of class 10th to present a speech on Christmas Eve. Respected father, sister, beloved teachers and all my dear friends, a very warm good morning to you all. As we all know that we are gathered here for celebrating this auspicious occasion of Christmas. So Christmas the birthday of the Christ. It was a beautiful night and the stars were shining brightly as the Savior of the world, Lord Jesus, was born. And on this day, we honor the birth of Jesus Christ. Christmas, it is the biggest festival which comes in the end of the year. This festival of Christmas is one of the most celebrated festival in the world. On this day, People decorate their houses, Christmas trees, prepare Christmas cards, and who can forget the Santa Claus? In short, it is celebrated with great pomp and enthusiasm. This festival of Christmas gives us the message of love, peace, harmony, and most importantly, brotherhood. May this engrossing spirit of Christmas infuse your life with new hopes, positivity and lots of joy. So at last, I would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. Thank you very much. Christmas is that where there is a hope, love, light and life. On this day, the plan and purpose of God will reach. It's a celebration of Jesus Christ. It's time to understand the lesson from Jesus and reflect on the mystery and incarnation of God. So here we are presenting an act who reflect the history and mystery of Jesus Christ. Papa, what is going on here? Why this gathering? Dear son, today is Christmas. Christmas? 
Papa, what does it mean? It is the body of Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, I'll explain. Hmm. Hey, my friend, let me tell you more about Christmas. Come with me. Hmm. The angel Gabriel came to Mary, who was promised to marry a man named Joseph, and said, Rejoice, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Mary was troubled at this verse. Angel said, Do not be afraid, Mary. God has favored you. You shall bear a son and call him Jesus. Mary said to angel, How could this be, since I am a virgin? Angel said to Mary, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. The child will be called the Son of God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of Lord. May it happen to me as you have said. In those days, Emperor Caesar Augustus issued a decree that all the world should be registered. So Joseph took Mary from the town of Nazareth to Bethlehem in Judea. It was a long journey. It wasn't easy for Mary as she was expecting the baby very soon. Finally, Joseph and Mary reached Bethlehem. He was searching place for Mary to give birth to his son. They were knocking different doors of inn. Is there any room for us to stay tonight? No, no, there is no room. Is there any room for us to stay tonight? Sorry, we don't have room, but there is a stable close to our house. If you feel okay, you can stay there. stable Jesus was born, the oxen and sheep singing his first lullaby. Mary wrapped the baby in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger, as there was no other place for them to rest. Papa, why Jesus, the Prince of Peace, did not born in a palace? They sing, it is the plan of God that his son should born in this world as a humble servant, taking the form of human being. Side, outside Bethlehem, several shepherds were guarding their sheep, and there appeared an angel. Fear not, a good news of joy for you. He is born in this day in city of David, a savior, who is Christ the Lord. You shall find the baby in swaddling clothes in a manger. Immediately, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go and see. Suddenly, this angel was surrounded by a multitude of angels from heaven praising God.
wise men from east came to Jerusalem and asking, Where is the child who has been born, the king of Jews? For we saw his star at its rising, and we have come to worship him. The wise men bought expensive gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. Okay, I understood the story, Papa. So, God throws open the door of this world and enters as a baby, as the most vulnerable imaginable, because He wants unimaginable intimacy with you. What God ever came so tender and humble that we could touch Him so vulnerable that His bare beating heart could be heard? Only the one who loves you. Let us now welcome the one who doesn't need an introduction, who always encourages the students as well as teachers, who makes the task of running this school so smoothly and silently. I welcome our respected principal to please come on the stage and deliver a message on this beautiful occasion. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. The angels sang from heaven, respected father, reverend sisters, Beloved teachers and my dear loving children, at the very outset, I wish you all peace, joy, goodwill of this Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ. The light of the world is born on this day in Bethlehem. When we hear the word of Christmas, we at once think of celebrations, merriments, Christmas tree, jingle bells, parties, and reindeers, etc., etc but for Christians is far above than mere celebrations. It's God's word taking the form of a human being. Love is born at Christmas. Jesus has brought the message of love by his birth. Every person imbibes the peace and goodwill which the angels sang to the shepherd according to the Bible. The Holy Bible is divided into two portion that is the Old Testament and the New Testament. In the Old Testament, the God created man, the, God, the creation of the world, and through the kings and prophets, the people were prepared for the arrival of Jesus Christ. But the New, New Testament, the birth of Jesus Christ, the works, the miracles, and the death of Jesus Christ. In the ancient calendar is also mentioned about AD and BC, that is after and before Jesus Christ. As the Jesus is the light of the world, he shared the light to his mankind. As we are celebrating the Christmas, the true spirit of Christmas is giving selflessly to those who thoroughly deserve and need it. If we can bring smile on the face of a one person, I would say our Christmas become more meaningful. Let us all strive for a better world. Once again, my dear ones, I take this opportunity to wish you all a very joyful Christmas and a peaceful, hopeful and wonderful 2022 New Year. Thanks. Next, I would like to take your attention toward next event. Any occasion is incomplete without singing. And as Christmas, celebration is incomplete without carol. So Christmas carol are actually religious in nature. And to celebrate this birth of Jesus Christ, I request a group of your teachers to please come on the stage and make this event more joyful. चुप है चंदा चुप है तारे जन्मा है जन्मा है जन्मा मसीहा रात की खामोशी में कैसी वो जन्नी कैसी
brought light into a dark world. And as we look forward to Christmas, we encourage all in our community. Let your light shine before other so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. So now, I would like to call Reverend Father John Powell to address the gathering for his valuable inputs. Respected parents, dear teachers, beloved children, it is Christmas, a day of hope, love, joy, peace and light. God the Father sent His only begotten Son to this world to show us and teach us that we can hope, we can love one another, we can be joyful or rejoice, we can be peaceful and we can always walk in the light because He is the name and the face of the love of God who came to dwell among us and today I hope and pray that each of you might have this desire of seeking Him and the joy of finding Him this Christmas. Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. May God bless us all. Next, I would like to call Miss Bhavna to please come on the stage for a vote of thanks. I would like to present vote of thanks. Firstly, I will thank our sisters. Uh, uh, our principal, Reverend Sister Jessie Thomas, Vice Principal, Reverend Sister Deepti, and Coordinator Sister Prabha for organizing this event. And a very special thanks to dear Father for blessing us and praying for us heartily. A heartfelt thanks to all teachers and participants who work wholeheartedly and dedicatedly to make this event a holy success. Once again, thank you everyone. In last, I will say, Christmas is the spirit of giving without a thought of getting. It is happiness because we see joy in people. It is forgetting self and finding time for others. It is discarding the meaningless and stressing the true values in our, our life. In last, Merry Christmas to you all. Christmas means giving. God, the Father gave His Son, and the Son gave His life. Now, without giving, there is no Christmas, and without sacrifice, there is no true worship. Let's forget the pain, hatred, fear, and worry, and all the negative things that happened in this year. It's time to move on forever and a day. God, thank you for all the blessings this year. Peace and love everyone. So at the end of this event, I just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry